Hello there kitties, I'm Curry, the Vacuum Tube Witch. And we're gonna continue our journey with the S1-112 oscilloscope. <coughs> the Soviet uh, thing of beauty that is uh, a little bit unusable now. What happened... Uh, was in fact a problem with the power supply and we're gonna tackle it at least try to let's get to the bench And here we've got our patient. <coughs> Careful not to cause any short circuit with it. Maybe put it upside down. And let's test it. There should be plus and minus 12 volts somewhere on the printed circuit board. Let me get a better view on the multimeter. <coughs> this should be minus 12 and it's something around minus 15. This should be plus 12 and it's 7.3. Between those lines there is uh, 22.3 volts. There are adjustment pots. I will uh, tell you what they are, what they are meant for. Let's um, turn off the scope for now. Make sure it's blood. Like you can see here, those are two potentiometers. One is marked uh, R1 for 63. The other one is marked uh, R168. And uh, I will show you the schematic of um, this oscilloscope, the power supply section. This is a pretty convoluted schematic. We can see three full bridge rectifiers. Uh, one of them is uh, for the plus and minus 12 volts. The other one is for, for uh, 5 volts. And the, the third one is uh, for uh, 110, 120 volts. Uh, higher voltage uh, supply for the deflection amplifiers and the, the problem is in this part of the circuit it's pretty unclear what's going on here so I redrew the schematic Still pretty unclear what's uh, what exactly is going on and uh, what are those transistors for? So I redrew it again, and that's how you do it. Like you see here, you've got the full bridge rectifier, you've got the 
1000 microfarad filter cap and then uh, what matters is uh, what is between uh, here we've got uh, 24 volts uh, across um, the lines and this is a um, voltage regulator it's on the, it has the pass transistor on the negative side rather than uh, what we are used to seeing on on the positive side then there's the error amplifier and uh, voltage adjustment uh, potentiometer marked uh, R168 that would be this one plus there is some more circuitry this part this is the load um, the oscilloscope uh, this is the ground point and uh, <coughs> since um, this Zener diode uh, is 8 to 11 volts uh, it, uh, it should uh, hold the potential um, at uh, 8, or 8 to 11 uh, below 12 volts DC so that would be 1 up to 4 volts um, DC and then um, this, um, this branch <coughs> including the potentiometer allows us to set the voltage point for the base of the transistor and uh, like we know uh, from the like we know from the basics on uh, semiconductors on transistors um, the base would be something like 0 0.7 volts uh, below uh, the emitter for PNP transistors uh, if we're talking the um, silicon transistors germanium would be slightly less so uh, all this circuitry does um, is uh, setting the <coughs> the division point uh, for the ground uh, how much uh, how much uh, the negative voltage is from the ground and how much the positive voltage is it is uh, together with the this uh, R158 resistor it's uh, it's basically parallel to the negative uh, load uh, of uh, the of the power supply to, uh, to the parts of the oscilloscope that uh, are powered from the negative supply and uh, this is what does the balancing between uh, positive and negative and we are about to adjust the 24 volts turn on the scope again let's see if uh, if I got no short circuit first turn on the scope let's put the probes uh, between the positive and the negative adjusting 168 to 24 volts and then <coughs> adjust the R163 so that I get the positive 12 volts on the meter and I'm turning the pot but nothing happens
Nothing at all. Interesting. Maybe the pot is wrong. Checking on the wiper and the base, I got the adjustment. Pretty nice. Not really that bad. Checking on the collector of the transistor. Nothing changes. Minus 16.2 volts. And the emitter is on the ground. That would mean that uh, the, the base of the transistor is not the base anymore because it should be fraction of a volt below the ground but um, it's uh, three and a half up to five and a half volts so the transistor stopped transisting and we have to replace it. Hopefully the power supply will allow itself to be adjusted after I um, replace the faulty part. One pet got ripped off. Why? And it doesn't really do anything on the other side. <coughs> Get the better view on this one. Replace it with a regular BC-147. Only I have to turn around the, the leads because um, BC-547 is um, CBE and uh, this one is ECB. Kind of like um, the BD-139. Though, who knows, maybe replacing it with a BD-139 would be even better. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's look for those vintage things. We got a BT-139 right here. 
should be some more of them in this bag of stuff. One thirty five, one thirty nine should be pretty much it. So this would be E and this would be C and this would be the B the base. And it's time to Put it into the board. That's a little bit tricky, but I can do it. Let's clean the pads on uh, on this side. I should be able to put it in now. It's coming. And let's test if my suspicions were correct. The negative supply now is minus 6.71.
At least I can adjust it. Oh, did I get something wrong? I did. I just... Uh, see what I did. BD135 is an uh, NPN transistor and I was supposed to use a uh, PNP transistor here. Got it wrong. Got it corrected. It's a lot of adventures for a single scope like this. But it's a lot of fun. Let's get it one for the... And by the way, a teeny tiny tech tip from me. If you want to clean the hole in the PCB, you can do it by uh, heating it up and using any kind of needle. I uh, use the syringe needles um, from my uh, hormone replacement therapy. And that's how you get the hole again. So now I will look for the PNP equivalent um, named BD140. Looks like I'm uh, kind of out of luck. I may as well use this um, BC313. It's uh, also a uh, middle power transistor. I will have to swap the base with um, the collector using an uh, insulation uh, on uh, one of the leads because I don't want the short circuit to form if I uh, crisscross those, um, those leads. Make it a little bit shorter. <coughs> and that looks pretty nice. It's 
So it's time to put it in, solder it in place and test again. Bend the transistors leads. So Make sure nothing is shorted and try firing it up. Minus thirteen point forty one. That's a lot nicer. Adjust it down to 12. Twelve point twenty two. And I can already see a nice uh, trace on the oscilloscope screen. You can also see the indications on uh, the multimeter part. The pilot lamp is, is steady and uh, there is uh, 5.12 volts let's adjust it down to let's adjust it down to 5 making the adjustment as perfect as possible. Starting with Getting it as close to 24 as possible. And adjusting the symmetry. This adjustment uh, seems to be requiring uh, a few steps uh, in order to get it right.
is 12.02 and plus uh, 12. That's perfect. We will leave it this way. And um, the 5 volt rail is uh, 5.02 volts. Changing the mode um, to the meter. It's slightly lower, 4.96. 11.98 on the plus and minus 12.03 or 04 on the negative side. I will adjust it for the scope mode. But uh, this is the power supply adjustment uh, procedure for the S1-112A oscilloscope, the, the Soviet thing. And the next step uh, will be putting the enclosure back together. Also some slight adjustment uh, on the meter part in order to adjust uh, the horizontal and uh, vertical lines so that uh, we get the nice digits. You, we have to use those uh, potentiometers on the meter board. And I will do it after putting the scope back together. I will do it uh, off the camera and I'll let you know how the thing looks like and, um, and how it works uh, in uh, a short uh, follow-up because um, the adjustment is done. So it's time to put it together and say bye for now. The work is done. See you next time.